How's it going, guys? Taka Monkey here, and I'm about to get two really badass swords. So I finally, after bitching a long time about Milady, I found out you can do her ability. And Needle Knight Lady is going to help me show this off. We're in Castle Anus, no pun intended, and we're going to check out how this works. Let's see. Big pot. Boom. Wow, lightning hurts him a lot. Oh, he procked those swords, didn't he? Wow. This guy's not fun. That was awesome. And I have the first remembrance in the entire game. These are in Legacy Dungeons, apparently. Remembrance of the Twin Moon Knight. I'm very happy for this. That was amazing. Hole in one. Of course, I just wasted that, but I can make more. Very awesome. So that's how you beat him. It was really simple. Um, we're just going to check out the remembrance real quick. And I'll continue on where we left off from in this uh, gazing grounds. I just want to show you guys that off real quick. Um, yeah, wow. Really awesome. Good battle. Uh, wow, 200,000 too. Just wow. I'm very excited to see what this remembrance does. I'm I'm just uh, messing around. I love how it does like a peace sign at the end with that thing. And this chick's dead, so. There is a way to do double so in Encant two moons and repeatedly strike the ground. That's interesting. That is an epic sorcery, I must say. 72 intelligence. Now this thing, the Light Great Sword, Renala's Twin Blades, I'm very excited to see. Moon and Fire Stance. This is where, so I'm going to take that, obviously. And then you go to this, Renala's Camo. It affects it. Maintaining the stance enhances the technique. So we're definitely going to be upgrading this weapon 100%. Just to show you guys. And you know what? It sucks because I'm really liking the sword I got. But I want to try both. I, I, we're getting the cool weapons now, you know? I'm going to do both. So no. This, yes. Oh, really? Oh, that one sombering. I knew that because I upgraded the the, the uh, rapid crossbow, and I knew that was going to happen. So not a big deal. At this point, they should just get a vendor to let you upgrade great weapons, uh, legendary weapons. I mean, what's? it just seems like the right choice. I don't know. I just want to show this weapon off for you guys, and then we're going to stop. Now, to use it, this is a whole other area. I only need 16 intelligence. That's very easy to maintain.
Right there, bam. We got enough. Now, seeing as this does fire damage and glintstone, probably change the helmet to. I could do this. I mean, it just seems silly to upgrade. I don't want to look like that helmet's just just gaudy. I'm not a big fan. Um, I'm just gonna stick with. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go with this. Nah, forget it. Forget it. I don't want to mess around too long. I'm gonna keep what I got. I like this. It feels right. It's awesome, and I can't wait to see what this does. So we'll test this out here at the Palace Approach and show you guys and be done. Whoa. Interesting, okay. So we're gonna do doubles. Just by themselves, that's pretty badass. Alright. This is the power attack. Wow. Oh wow. That's funny. What a great way to show it off, right? That's a that's amazing. I love it. That's pretty pretty freaking funny. Okay, let's try this again. First, we're gonna go get the thing we need. Whoa, screw you, dude. So it says the longer you hold the stance, the longer, more powerful it is. Yeah, it is. It's way more powerful. But it attacks so fast. Wow. I am digging it. So the running charge attack did less damage than the running regular attack. I am definitely digging this. This is cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks a lot. Like and subscribe helps out the channel. And, uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Stay classy. Taco Monkey out.